So, we've all believed that we've already seen inflation. But I'm telling you all the truth. We haven't seen anything yet. What is coming down the road, as you'll hear from her sister, is just absolutely ridiculous. And these coming price hikes on food will create famines of biblical proportions all over the globe. What we're going to see, ladies and gentlemen, is the black horse of the book of Revelation unleashed by a much greater degree than it has been up until now. You'll notice from her sister's account of her dream that she said that she didn't have an idea of what could have caused such a sudden change in the prices of food. Well, beloveds, that's why we prophesy in part. And to each of us is given a piece of the puzzle. Because I just so happen to know one of the reasons why there will be a sudden price hike. Not only in Jamaica, but this will also occur on a global scale. Now, in a vision that I've already shared here on my channel, a vision involving tsunamis affecting shorelines on a global scale. I saw in that vision that when the tsunami had came to Jamaica, and this was not a mega tsunami, these were like the smaller tsunamis. And I also believe from the vision that this event will occur literally at the start of the tribulation. And the reason why I'm saying this is because in that vision as well, the Spirit of God was poured out. The river of life was already poured. And I remember that I was ministering to people from all over the globe. People from different nationalities. From many different nations. Now, in the vision, I remember that when that tsunami had came to Jamaica, it had killed a few people. It didn't kill a lot of people, but there were casualties nonetheless. I remember that when that tsunami came, the prices for food items went up 100-fold in one day, beloveds. Uh, let me repeat that. In the vision, when the tsunami had struck Jamaica, the prices for food items, that is all food items, went up 100-fold in one single day. And that is unlike any kind of inflation that we have yet to experience. And this is going to catch a lot of people off guard. But like I said, I believe this will happen literally at the very start of the tribulation. And I have my reasons why I believe this. Based off of what I saw and experienced in the vision. So what you're about to hear from our beloved sister is on point. And Yah has shown me and given me the same confirmations as well. But please understand that this won't be exclusive to only Jamaica. No, beloveds, this will happen on a global scale. Because the value of the U.S. dollar will be greatly reduced, as you're about to hear. So, anyhow, I had a prophetic vision. And in this vision, it started with me being in a line. And guess what? I was actually in a supermarket. Where? In Jamaica. Please make a note of this. So, in the vision, I was standing in the line and I was waiting for the cashier to tell me my total and I was getting ready to pay her. So I think I probably was like the third person who was in line. So by the time it got to my turn, I found myself handing her a juju. Now, let me see the Jamaicans who are listening. How many of us know what a juju is? Do you know what we call a juju? In Jamaica, do you know what is called a juju? Is there a Jamaican watching? No? I'm gonna show you what a juju is. Yesterday I was actually at the mall and there was this candy store there and the Holy Spirit, as having been talking to me about this dream, he reminded me about the juju and he told me that when I'm talking about this vision, I can use the juju as an illustration. So I went into the candy store and I was looking for the exact juju that I saw in my dream. It was actually a red one. I went into this candy store and I saw an orange one, but I'm going to use the orange as an illustration. So let me see first. Do you know what the juju looks like? Yes. Yes, Carol. That gummy sweet thing that we usually eat as children. Well, I don't still eat it. So here it is. This is a juju. In my dream, it was red. This is an orange one because this is the one that I found when I went into the store. But I want you to imagine a red juju in my hand. Okay? So that's crazy though because ordinarily I don't have need to buy a juju to be honest with you. I would not go into a store and buy a juju. And something that is funny is that usually these things are sold in packs. Uh, I had a single one in my hand like this. It was not in a pack among a dozen others or 11 others. It was just a single juju that was not in a package, just a single one of this. 
So anyhow, it was my turn to cash out. And I found myself handing her the juju, showing it to her. She said to me, it's $70. I was taken aback, huh? She said $70. And here's the thing about when she said it was $70. It's crazy that this was happening in a supermarket in Jamaica. But the funniest thing is that in the vision, I actually had US dollars. And when she said $70, the understanding in the vision at the moment was that she meant 70 US dollars. So I had $70, okay, on me, ready to give her for what? For this, okay? I want you to think about this for a moment. I was in Jamaica. The currency that I had in my handbag was US dollars. She said this single thing here, not even the pack of it, but this, this thing some of us will call this foolishness isn't it this is a candy and she said how much for the candy 70 dollars. and as i said when she said 70 dollars in the vision we understood what 70 dollars meant she meant 70 us dollars and as i was there pondering and even taking out the money because i wanted the juju I, I was coming out of the vision and as I was coming out of the experience, the understanding was coming to me, okay? I found myself also saying before the understanding came, I was like, but that's, that's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. $70 for this? That's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. And I hear the Lord saying, that in the same way that I was saying that that price was ridiculous, he says, prepare. My fellow Jamaicans, be prepared. Because the times that are ahead will be times that will cause you to see some ridiculous price increases that you've never heard of before. Okay? In the same way that that $70 as a price for that item, that foolishness, was ridiculously high. You're going to enter a time when you're going to find yourself saying, but this is ridiculous when you see some prices in the supermarket and in other places. But I want you to notice how the setting of this vision was in a supermarket. It's in a supermarket where we get something that is very essential for survival, and that's food. Okay? This is under the category of food, but this, this is not even basic. This is optional. This is a juju. This is a sweet, a candy. You don't need this, so to speak, as opposed to meats and vegetables and fruits and so on. And if a foolishness can cost so much, can be doubled in price, even be tripled and go up to seven times what it usually costs, now you can imagine what's going to happen to the essentials. If you have ears to hear, please hear me and hear me well. And do not hear me, but hear the voice of the living God that's speaking to me. The days that are ahead are of such that irrespective of the government that will be in leadership, whether it's on the green side or the orange side, it will not matter. It will not matter, Jamaica. You will be entering a time, and I don't know what is going to trigger this. I don't know if there's going to be a particular event that's going to happen. I don't know if a particular change in legislation is going to cause this. I don't know if a particular change in government is going to cause this. I really don't know what specific event is going to trigger this, but I want you to know to brace yourselves. And if the cost of basic things is going to increase significantly, then it means that you're going to now have to work two times as hard as you used to in order to survive. Hallelujah. You're probably going to have to save twice as hard. You're probably have, you're going to have to, if you're working a farm, work seven times harder. Whatever it is that you are accustomed to doing in order to survive and to provide for your basic needs and provide for the members of your household. I want you to understand that the times that we are entering will be times of such that you're going to have to work harder for what you want because the prices of things are going to increase and they're going to be ridiculous. Are you hearing me? Is anybody hearing me? 